Apple's AI beat GPT-4. What if I told you that Apple recently unveiled Realm, a brand new artificial intelligence system? Compared to GPT-4, which is already among the best language models available, it is supposedly even better. Consider this. Realm may greatly improve Siri's intelligence. It might aid Siri in recalling the topics you've spoken, comprehending what's on your iPhone screen, and even identifying ambient noises, such as adjacent music. The upcoming WWDC 2024 event in June has generated a lot of interest in Apple's AI initiatives, particularly with regard to improving Siri. And what do you know? This enthusiasm comes in response to several requests for Siri to be enhanced. The AI division of Apple has made significant progress in implementing the Realm system that is supposed to make Siri more efficient. Realm has an ability to recognize the nature of the conversation, whether it's text on the screen or noise in the room. It's different from older methods in that it is a language problem from the way Siri refers to things in the speech. Realm's technology is speech, screen content, and sound to text that large language models can easily interpret. In their research, the Apple team compared Realm against OpenAI's GPT-3.5 and GPT-4, which are the basis of ChatGPT and ChatGPT+, respectively. They discovered that Realm is not smaller than GPT-4, but it performs as well as GPT-4 and even better in the larger versions. The smallest Realm model presented the highest accuracy, from 5% to 10% higher than GPT-3.5 and GPT-4, especially in the comprehension of the information on the screen. The biggest models of Realm, named Realm 8M, Realm 250M, Realm 1B, and Realm 3B, were the most effective. The GPT-3.5 is a huge number of parameters, 175 billion. One of the newer models is GPT-4, which has 1.5 trillion parameters. A new technology referred to as Realm is an incredible one, and it can also compete with GPT-4, though it has fewer parameters. Apple's next possible step is to integrate Realm into future updates of its iOS, which could make Siri even more intelligent. Also, Microsoft is doing AI for Xbox. They're trying to develop a chatbot which will be used to solve Xbox-related problems like getting refunds or fixing issues. The chatbot is more similar to a character in a game, animated to seem alive. It provides support provided by Microsoft but for Xbox, so it can be able to handle many different questions and even give refunds on the spot. Microsoft wants to incorporate AI into Xbox to allow for a more intuitive user experience. They're just testing it to know whether it could be a common thing. Haiyang Zhang, the one who leads artificial intelligence at Xbox, said this AI chatbot can understand what you're asking for and bring out the answers from the Xbox's support staff. AI is a key element of Microsoft's gaming strategy and is not only used to improve customer service, but also to make the games even more fun. They do AI for games like making game art, testing games, and creating characters that are realistic. They are also planning on using AI to not only add some more fun to the games, but to also make sure that rules are being followed and that everyone's playing fair. They can even put AI in games to serve as helpers for players, giving them tips and ways to make games more interesting. Although some people are for and others are against AI being used in games, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella is really fond of the idea of putting AI in everything, including games. They're going to be doing that too. He'll be able to play your Xbox games on various devices and AI will be quite instrumental in that. And they've been dropping in hints on the next Xbox that will largely depend on AI for some cool features. And amidst all of this, OpenAI has released a new version of ChatGPT that doesn't require signing in and is free to use. The purpose of this phase is to make AI technology user-friendly and more approachable for everyone, as it is nowadays with the search engines that are easy to use. Now that ChatGPT 3.5 is available for immediate use, OpenAI's plan to make all AI tools accessible to everyone and to ignite curiosity about what AI is capable of is one step closer to reality. This change is only one facet of a larger movement in which world-leading tech companies are making an enormous investment to create the comfort and reliability of AI. 
Apple's now busy with the aim of enhancing Siri's capability to talk with Realm, while Microsoft's trained to develop an AI chatbot that will be helpful for Xbox customers. The decision of OpenAI to let ChatGPT be more accessible is a crucial step toward the wide implementation of AI. It confronts ChatGPT with the traditional search engines, which is a real challenge to the way that we work on and absorb information that we find on the internet. OpenAI has claimed that chat may be used to improve the model, but you can change your preferences to exclude chat sharing. In the beginning, the user is not able to detect the purpose of this feature. OpenAI has provided additional security measures and made sure that the platform does not involve discussion of more complicated topics than what is available in the free version of ChatGPT. While the availability of many features, such as the possibility to save and share your chat, use voice commands and get special instructions, is offered only to the ones who sign up, whether the account's free or paid, there's no need to do so to use the main functions of the app. Here is a more intriguing update. Google has decided to delete all the information we're sending to it when we're using incognito mode, including our search history. After Google... We saw a history of this data, even though it was not saved in our devices previously. When you first use this function, you cannot notice its advantages. To ensure this security of the free version, OpenAI provided extra security measures and made sure that ChatGPT does not talk about a variety of issues. Nevertheless, the most significant features, such as the capability to save and share your conversations, use voice commands and access specific instructions, are restricted to the users who create an account, whether paid or free. And this is an additional noteworthy update. Google has taken a step to delete all the search history and other data it has with us while we browse incognito. This kind of information was not archived on our devices, but Google was keeping it in their database. The new product's an important milestone in taking the right step towards minimizing the 237 million pharmaceutical errors that occur in England every year. Besides being a money-wasting factor to the National Health Service, they are also responsible for the deaths of more than 1,500 people. Drug GPT has the upper hand over script switch, which was formerly used by clinicians to guide them in making medication decisions. It is intended to improve the understanding of the prescription by the doctor, and as a result, the patient will follow the treatment regimen more strictly. The purpose is to help overwhelmed doctors be more well-informed about the meds they prescribe. Similar to ChatGPT and communication and Xbox's chatbot for the gamers, this is a part of a bigger trend where AI is applied in different sectors to make things easier and more effective for the consumers. The drug GPT is for the medical personnel to support them by providing AI-based insights that make the drug prescription safer and more knowledgeable. It resembles a doctor's computer assistant, which reduces prescription errors and supports, rather than substitutes this medical professional's work. Now, don't forget to click the subscribe button to be notified of all of our future updates. We thank you for your interest in today's video, and we'll be glad to welcome you to our next one. Thanks for watching.